U.S. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel is stepping down after being asked to do so by Barack Obama. The president officially announced Hagel's resignation less than an hour ago. All right, let's get more from Guyana Chichikan, who's in Washington. Uh, she joins us live now. So, Guyana, we heard uh, plenty from Obama in uh, the last hour uh, praising Hagel, but no really specific reasons given as to actually why he's going. What do you know? Well, Tabang, President Obama said Chuck Hagel would stay on until he nominates another Secretary of Defense. The president said this was not a decision that Chuck Hagel took lightly, and you bet right, it Chuck was Hagel. not. Earlier, Chuck Hagel's aides were quoted as saying he did expect to serve throughout the rest of President Obama's Security. term. Administration officials Military. speaking on condition of anonymity said President Nazi Obama's decision to remove stood. Chuck Hagel was a recognition that the threat from the Islamic State would require a different kind of skills than those that Mr. Hagel was brought on to employ. At the end of October, Chuck Hagel wrote a memo to the White House uh, with what was said to be a sharp criticism of the administration's handling of the fight against ISIS. In that memo, he asked the administration to clearly define its strategy and specifically how to deal with President Bashar al-Assad of Syria. Later, when the administration sort of floated the idea that it now views Assad's removal as key to fighting ISIS, Chuck Hagel was in Congress saying this. Uh, good afternoon. You could change Assad today, um, and that's not going to change all the dynamics quickly, certainly in, in Syria. But who are you going to replace Assad with, and what kind of an army would, would take on uh, ISIL? But you know, Chuck Hagel is not the only person who apparently fails to understand or disapproves of the administration's strategy on ISIS. According to a CBS and New York Times poll, 57 percent of Americans disapprove of how the White House is handling ISIS. One can only imagine what discussions Chuck Hagel had with administration officials behind closed doors. But his removal uh, could be a sign that the White House is preparing for more aggressive foreign policy moves that Chuck Hagel perhaps could not sign on to. Guyana Jijikin, they're giving us an update as to that announcement that just happened about 30 minutes ago. Thank you very much for that. Right, Hegel was uh, reportedly asked to step down due to a shift in America's policy on fighting Islamic State, as Guyana also mentioned there. But U.S. foreign policy expert Daniel McAdams thinks that shift is not necessarily for the better. I don't think one should take heart in his in his departure as an indication that the president has made a, a wise decision on what to do in, in Iraq and Syria. I think you may well see someone handpicked by the Susan Rice Samantha Power faction uh, coming into the Pentagon. But you do also have the military leadership in the Pentagon, which from day one has urged boots on the ground in Syria and Iraq. Uh, their perspective as, is, is as, as military people rather than political figures, and they believe that you simply cannot fight uh, a war against these, uh, this group of you know, several thousand, tens of thousands. Nobody knows how many there are. You simply can't fight them dropping bombs on the ground. And every day we see new reports that, as predicted, uh, U.S. bombing is only increasing the recruits into ISIS and making them stronger.